everyone welcome back to my channel it's me Leticia with another video and I have been waiting so long to film this video um so I had just finished the Cassie Hose Blogilates 21 day tone challenge and I honestly wanted to film a video beforehand um before I went on my vacation just to kind of like share my experiments and everything and like what I went through and obviously it didn't happen but I'm kind of glad that I did wait so I can kind of tell you what happened to me and my experience after the 21 challenge so I can kind of tell you from my perspective what I've gone through and how it has affected me in a big way so uh, let's get started so before we get started i do want to let you know that there are probably three parts of this storytelling um it's going to be the before my experience so i'll be talking about what i went through and what was my mind at the time before starting the challenge my journey during this challenge and where i'm at now and what happened to me afterwards so let's go back to last year i was doing so good at my fitness i was actually trying to do something different every month which if you haven't seen any of those videos i will link those videos down in the description below and you will see how it went for me and honestly i was doing really good i would say that i was pretty shocked and proud of myself for how far i was able to go i had lost about 16 pounds within the first three months of the year and then covid happened and i just kind of i tried to stick through but i just couldn't for whatever reason and all my motivation was lost and i just felt like i couldn't do much and when I went back to work it was just kind of go 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 so I couldn't really work out and be at work because I am a housekeeping inspector and I don't I can't leave work until the last housekeeper is done and sometimes I don't even go home until seven o'clock and I've been there since 8 8 30 so it does get a little bit overwhelming and tiring for me and so i just kind of stopped working out and then i don't know kind of like towards the end i thought i was kind of doing okay because i wasn't like overeating i wasn't indulging i wasn't doing anything out of the ordinary and then december came around and i was like you know what like this year i am really gonna kill it um i don't care what <laughs> what COVID does i don't care if we're still in the middle of a pandemic i am gonna try again and not give up this time so i decided you know i'm just gonna have my last hurrah and not worry about what i'm eating or counting calories or anything like that just so that once new year's hit i am following that rule strictly and i kind of wish i hadn't done that because i felt completely disgusted and grossed out with myself to the point where i started making myself throw up again and i haven't done that since i was 17. And I'm 28 now, so it's been about 10, 11 years since I last made myself throw up on purpose. And I made sure that it was during a time that my husband wasn't home. And I just, I just ate so much. I felt disgusted. I felt grossed out. And then I just did it. And a couple of days later, I believe it was like on the last day or the last week of the 2020 I don't know why but I just came home from work and I just started I don't know I just started to make myself purge again no reason just because I wanted to and 
I remember sitting there thinking to myself, what am I doing? There's no reason for me to do this. There is a healthier way and there's a better way to do it. So I started downloading like all these kinds of fitness apps. I've already downloaded Fitbit and my fitness pal, but I decided to try fit on, I think it was called and just try to figure out what kind of workouts that they had in that app to start working out again. And I had already told myself that not only was I going to count my calories and just like really watch what I eat, but I had also decided that I was going to completely cut coffee out of my diet just because I was so reliant on coffee. And it is very easy for me to pick creamers like coffee creamers that was sweet i have a major sweet tooth and my biggest issue was that i may find something that i would want to try like a snickers creamer or funfetti creamers or something stupid like that so just to like help myself not give into sweets i decided that i was not going to drink coffee at all whatsoever and just switch to tea, which I'm so glad I did. <laughs> so out of nowhere, I saw a post that Cassie had posted on Instagram about her starting the 21 day tone challenge. And I thought, okay, I looked at the rules and I thought, okay, well, this is probably something that I can do. Like, it doesn't seem like it's too much. It's, if anything, it's probably, a really great way for me to start living a healthy lifestyle and it's and it's doable like I could probably do it in no time and so I started doing my research because I am that kind of person who loves her carbs she loves her sweets and I had no idea what refined carbs are I'm so clueless in that kind of stuff so I was doing researching to see what I can and cannot eat and just trying to figure out like man plans inside my head just so that I know what I can and cannot eat. And then the first day started and I was ready to go. So now part two of the story, my journey. I, the first day wasn't so bad. It was easier because we were starting to slow down a little bit. It was easier for me to work out after work just because I will be able to come home like around one or two, three the latest and I will still be able to do my workout and I will still be able to have all that energy to do my workout as opposed to waking up super early like I used to. And honestly, the first day... I had, it was actually really easy for me to drink 64 ounces of water. I thought that was impossible to do. Turns out it's really easy. I thought I was going to go hungry all day based on what I was going to eat. Honestly, it really wasn't. What I decided to do as far as eating was that in the mornings, I would eat fruit. Um, I don't know if you have seen those little tiny containers that you will find at Walmart with like the fresh cut apples and fresh cut watermelon and cantaloupes and pineapple and like all these other fruits that are just fresh cut. I would buy one of those really small containers that's probably like four ounces or something like that. I would have one small containers for breakfast with my cup of tea and then surprisingly that would last me all the way up until lunch and I will have lunch like at 11 and for lunch I will have a salad again I had no idea what to do so I just decided that if I had no idea what to eat I'm just not going to eat it especially like if I'm not so sure if it's a refined carb it's better safe than sorry and just not eat any carbs at all so <laughs> I just had a salad with chickens and that's about it. From my salad dressing, I had um, maybe a little bit of olive oil and pepper and salt. That's about it. 
and for a snack in between dinner and lunch I will have like a couple of whole almonds yes whole, whole almonds and that would last me all the way up until dinner dinner for me was pretty hard so I would do just meat and veggies mostly um I would do cauliflowers I will do anything that you can probably replace your carbs with with either cauliflower or uh, I don't know uh, zucchini I don't know why I was gonna call it swakili no it's zucchini and I can't remember to be honest but I've replaced a lot of sides that I normally would love to eat with a vegetable that you can probably find at Walmart and it was actually doing pretty good I was honestly pleasantly surprised by how good I was doing Although I do have a mitt, I mean, honestly, I did kind of get sick and tired of cauliflower all the time because it's just so bland. There's like no flavor to it. And it took me a while to find out the right seasoning for the cauliflower. But at that point, maybe like two weeks in, I had eaten so many cauliflowers that I was just, I was done. I... I was ready to go back to um, whole wheat, like whole wheat pasta and whole wheat rice or brown rice. Just anything that was whole wheat, nothing white, nothing that I wasn't sure about. So as far as working out, I, oh my gosh, I felt like I was on top of the world, honestly. Like the workouts were so good. But it, they were so freaking intense. I had no idea. Well, I kind of did have an idea how intense they were. Because I have worked out with Cassie before. And half the times I quit and just not do it anyway. Because it is so much that I would have to do. And my body just kind of like gave up. And... And <laughs> this challenge was no exception. It was still hard, but she highly encouraged us to still push ourselves. And if we can't do it, just do the modifications. So I told myself I was just going to keep on going no matter how hard I am. Um, it is no matter how tired I am, no matter if I felt like giving up to just continue going. Even if I cannot do the modification, at least just do the best of my abilities and just continue going. My goal was to not stop and to complete the whole entire challenge and not feel guilty or kick myself in the butt for not completing it. That was just my goal. And surprisingly, I did it. There was one 21 minute workout that Cassie had done. It is a cardio workout. Oh my gosh. I wanted to kill her so badly. I wanted to tell her what I was thinking. And oh my gosh, I, I thought I was going to die. But even then, I, I didn't stop. I was probably running out of breath. I was, my body could just physically not move any faster, but I did it anyway, as slow as I did. And even though I had to do a modification for the modification, I still completed it. And I felt so proud for doing that workout because it was not easy. And anyone who has done Pilates, anyone who has worked out with Cassie knows that it is not easy. So the best way on how you can go forward is to continue working out with the videos as long as you're doing the best that you possibly can. Even if you feel like you're falling off and like your arms are about to break and you just cannot do anything, do the best that you possibly can because it it's helped me a lot. I've gotten in the habit of figuring out what to eat, how much to eat, and when to eat. And the one habit that I was actually able to accomplish 
that I was really hoping that I would be able to get was to work out after working if that makes sense. After I got off of work, I was just so looking forward to working out because I love getting that little check mark and I just love seeing and knowing how far I had come in the challenge and I was looking so forward to it. And hearing all the little stories that Cassie has to say, I have no idea how homegirl is able to talk while working out, but I love hearing what she has to say. Just because it felt like I was working out with my, you know, with my girl. <laughs> and something that she kept saying over and over again in her videos was, it takes 21 days to create a habit. And that's why she created the 21 day tone challenge, not because you know, to see how much you can lose weight in 21 days or what you can do in 21 days. It's more of what you can do and accomplish in 21 days and what kind of habits you are able to create within those 21 days. And honestly, I, th I thought it was pure genius. It made so much sense to me as to why it took 21 days for me to crave healthy food. I was honestly starting to crave healthy food and normally I don't. I would eat it every once in a while but if there was a hamburger with french fries and a side of New York cheesecake, you best believe that is what I'm going to have over cauliflower rice. But it was, it was actually not that bad. Like I've mentioned, I have a major sweet tooth. So my biggest thing was eating desserts. And I love to eat desserts after work, especially after dinner. And I found something earlier like a couple years ago on tumblr that if you're craving something sweet just slice up a couple of bananas a little drizzle of honey and a little bit of cinnamon powder and you'll be able to have a healthier option of a dessert and me being the super lazy person that i am i had that at least two or three times a week and honestly that absolutely killed my sweet craving. I thought that it wasn't going to be enough, but it was. And it was such a healthier alternative to a chocolate cake or ice cream, which is something that I would normally have. But honestly, all in all, within the 21 days, I am completely proud of myself. I never thought that I would go into it with thinking that I would win and I definitely did not realize or think that Cassie would notice me or that she would like any of my photos or anything like that. I honestly just did it for myself and I did it thinking that something positive would come out of this and I kept telling myself no matter what the result is the good news and my goal was to create a habit of eating healthier and working out. And I gained so much more than that. I became a little bit more positive. I didn't come home complaining to my husband as much as I used to. And <laughs> I never thought I would say this, but I actually came home excited to work out. I was really looking forward to working out and to something physical with my body. And I just can't believe it that I was actually able to do that. My mind is at a different state. I feel confident. I feel a lot happier. And I'm just... <laughs> I'm just like in a really good spot right now. So part three of my story is that after we had um, finished the challenge, I uploaded my photo and yes, I am the one with the Moana bathing suit. <laughs> I honestly, funny thing is that I actually bought that a couple of years ago for my honeymoon and I bought it as a gold swimsuit where I would try to work out to the best of my abilities and try to gain or lose enough weight 
to be able to wear that bathing suit on my honeymoon with confidence that didn't happen but i bought it at hot topic just because i thought it would be super cute to wear when i finally feel confident enough in my body to wear it and so i when cassie said that she wanted a bikini or a bathing suit or like booty shorts and sports bra i was like oh my gosh there's no way i'm going to do this but i'm gonna do it anyway and i'm looking at my photos and yeah it kind of looks a little bit different on my after photo it looks more like i had gained weight than i did on my before photo that's because my husband wasn't around so he really couldn't um take my photo so i had to use something to hold my my camera up to take my photos which is i don't know it was kind of like angled weird and where i was standing i wasn't standing at the exact spot so it looks like i had gained weight but i really hadn't i had lost quite a few weight which honestly i'm kind of surprised and proud of myself that i lost nine pounds almost 10 pounds within the 21 days that i had done this challenge and as i posted my photo and i started looking at all the other pictures i was like yo there's no way i'm going to win this because everybody's transformation is literally night and day like they look so completely different and you can tell that they had lost weight and for me you couldn't tell anything there was no difference whatsoever but even then i told myself win or lose i still won in my mind and in my heart i still won because i had lost almost 10 pounds 9.6 pounds i think it was and i'm still proud of myself because I was able to lose that when I could have gained that. And I kind of kept reminding myself where I was at in the beginning of the year when I was at my absolute heaviest. I reminded myself how disgusted I felt, how embarrassed I felt. I reminded myself the reason why I started this challenge and why I am still a winner. And I was just really happy. We went to Disney World. We had already planned on going to Disney World. So I'm really glad that the challenge ended the day before my vacation. Because if it didn't, I would probably be kicking myself in the butt. Thinking, what the heck am I going to have? Like, I know there are healthier options to snack at Disney. But at the same time, I want a churro. And I want to eat this and I want to eat that and I know I know myself that I will end up cheating the whole system and I will be even more upset with myself at the fact that I wasn't true to the challenge so I was so happy for that we went to Disney I felt free I felt so happy I felt so confident I told myself that I was not going to let myself not enjoy my vacation, especially with the kind of food that they have there. It, I mean, I was going to celebrate my birthday and I definitely wanted to make sure that I had a good time and not worry about anything, including eating. And I was at Animal Kingdom when <laughs> when I got an interesting message, I was, oh my gosh, I was at a river or by the river in Asia. I think I was around the Cali Rapid Rivers and we had, I mean, I heard her, all I heard was music and I rushed over and I see Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto on a boat, on a pontoon boat, just driving around, waving at everybody, doing the little cavalcade. And I was so freaking excited. I was waving at them and I had this big old smile on my face. He 
people probably couldn't see it because I was wearing a mask but I was so freaking happy and I turned over to my mom to make sure that she was okay and we started walking away and as we did I don't know why but I decided to look at my phone I pulled out my phone and I got a DM from Blogilates I was like what in the world is this and I read the message that I was one of the winners and I started crying right then and there and I was like oh my gosh I cannot believe this and my mom looked at me just like what are you okay and I said oh my gosh I did it and my husband was like the challenge like what happened and I said I'm one of the winners I won like I'm one of the winners I didn't think that they would notice me but she did she personally picked me and I'm one of the winners and they both started hugging me and congratulating me and they were just so happy for me and like see like it doesn't matter what you do you just got to keep pushing and you will get there and I said honestly it wasn't even that I was doing it for the attention. I wasn't doing it to win. I was doing it for myself. And when I was looking at everybody else's before and after pictures, I knew for sure that I was not going to win. Or at least I had a feeling that I wasn't going to. But I was going to go ahead and try anyways. And we'll see what happens. And... No matter what, I was going to be proud of myself for completing it. I just never thought that I would actually win. And I was so incredibly happy and proud of myself. Now, fast forward to a couple of days later, towards the end of my vacation. Um, I had no idea that eating healthy and having, you know, creating a habit like I did during the 21 day don't tone challenge, I never thought that it will impact my body or affect my body in such a major way, but it did. Holy cow, I had no idea. So it was basically towards the end of the, I think it was the night, the day before we were supposed to fly out that I was starting to feel nauseous, like everything I ate, I, I just didn't have an appetite anymore. My stomach was hurting, I was feeling nauseous, I was feeling pretty gross and it had gone to the point where I had to have like some kind of coke or Alka-Seltzer or something to help with my stomach so that I can be able to, you know, to feel better and I did for a little bit. But then the next day, our last day at Disney, we had breakfast and I just felt like crap again. I, oh my gosh, my stomach was hurting so bad. Um, we had lunch at the airport and I asked for something small. And even then I still felt pretty nauseous and gross. And all day, I just felt so sick to my stomach to the point where I had to get some Tums and anything else to help me with my stomach and it wasn't until I got home where I was like oh my gosh like honestly every move I make it makes me feel so nauseous it just makes me feel sick I feel like I need to throw up but I don't want to throw up I just feel so bad and we finally got home and I told my husband to please don't wait up on me. I was just going to be in a bathroom for a little bit just to see if it will help my stomach. And oh my gosh, I I knew it's going to sound like I kind of had a, another incident like purge, making myself throw up on purpose. But I wasn't. I promise you I wasn't. It was just because of how nauseous I felt. And how, like, I wasn't feeling at ease. I couldn't eat. Every movement I made, 
I felt worse and the last thing I wanted to do was to feel like go to bed feeling like crap and possibly end up throwing up in the middle of the night so I would decide to just get it done and over with and yeah you can guess what happened next and after I finished I I had a hot cup of peppermint tea and I went straight to bed and the next day I felt immensely better I had no idea what was going on I had no idea why my body was starting to feel like that and apparently after your body is used to you eating healthy food that's all what it eats now that's all at once so if you eat unhealthy food and you eat anything that's greasy and just completely not okay and good for you your body will kind of like give up and it'll make you feel really sick which honestly i had no idea that was the case so i learned a really really hard lesson that weekend and yes i kind of do regret eating so much unhealthy foods to the point that it made me sick but at the same time it's disney and it was probably my last disney until i'm able to get a house so i almost kind of don't regret it but i kind of do but at the same time i kind of don't <laughs> so that's my journey i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up as i know that it has helped you out if you are someone who's trying to lose weight and you're trying to look for some kind of encouragement and comment down below if you're someone who has done the 21 day tone challenge i don't know why i keep wanting to say don't it's tone so if you've done that challenge comment down below what your journey was and if it was any different than mine or kind of similar i would love to hear what you had to go through and i would love to hear your stories also, Cassie had asked me if I can film a one minute video about my journey. I literally took it a little too literal and did one minute, which is why I did this video. <laughs> but if you want to hear what I had to say at that time, and if you want to hear everybody else's stories, her video will be in the description below where you can actually check that out. I am crying at everyone's stories like their journey is completely different than mine there's some transformations where i'm like how in the world were you able to do that and honestly some were really similar some made me cry some made me incredibly proud of them i had no idea who they are but it made me super proud to hear their stories and hear what they have to say and what their journey was like so if you really want to i would highly recommend watching their videos if you're someone who is trying to start working out or if you're kind of playing with the idea of working out and having a healthier lifestyle please go watch the video after this video we would all greatly appreciate that so Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. Peace, love, and hair grease.